G'day viewers, Oren here. In this video, I'm going to show you three methods to domain join a Windows 11 computer to an Active Directory domain. Only Windows 11 computers running the Pro, Enterprise, Education or Workstation editions of Windows 11 can join an Active Directory domain. If you're running Windows 11 Home Edition, you can't join an Active Directory domain. I'm doing this demo on an eVault version of the Enterprise Edition that's freely available for download off the Microsoft website and functions for about 90 days. When I set this up, I created a local user account named Prime by selecting the sign-in options and that I wanted to domain join. This local account option is only available in some editions of Windows 11. As you can see here, I'm using an account that has local admin privileges. Before trying a domain join, ensure that you have DNS resolution to the DC by doing a lookup on the domain name. One of the most frequent reasons for domain joins failing is DNS resolution. The first method I'll use is my favorite. In the search menu, type sysdm.cpl. This opens the classic system control panel. On the computer name tab, click change. On the computer name domain changes dialog, choose domain. Enter the domain name, Click OK. On the computer name domain changes dialog box, enter the domain account with the domain name followed by account and password. You can use user principal name if that floats your boat. Enter the password, click OK. Restart the computer, log back in with your domain account. I probably should have used a different domain account name from my local account name, but you're smart enough to figure out the difference and it isn't as though the name administrator isn't used at the local and domain level. So let's use the sysdm cpl dialog to remove this computer from the domain so we can then use another method to join it back. Here we choose change, we specify workgroup. It can be any name you want, but I'm using local. Bounce the computer. And we're back to where we started. Method two is to use settings. In settings, choose accounts then choose Access Work or School. Here choose Connect next to the Add Work or School account. On the Set up a Work or School account page, right down the bottom you can see Join this device to a local Active Directory domain. Click that option. Enter the domain name. Provide the domain account credentials that have permissions to join the domain. Specify the rights you want the account to have. If you skip here, it just inherits from Active Directory. But if the account you use for join is a standard ADA user account, you might want to assign them different permissions locally. Bounce the computer and we're back logged in with the Tailwind Traders Prime account. To leave the domain using this method, go to Settings, Accounts, Access Work or School, select the domain and select Disconnect this account. Confirm that you want to leave the domain. Provide the details of a local user account that will allow you to sign on to the PC. Here I'm entering the Prime account I created when I deployed Windows 11. I bounce the computer and I'm back at the standalone state, logged in with my Prime local admin account. The final method you can use is PowerShell. You can domain join with a single line of code, which is much faster than mucking about root settings. From an elevated command prompt, I run the command add computer dash domain name, specify the domain name dash credential, and in parentheses, specify the get credential command. This prompts me for my domain credentials. I enter those, the domain join occurs, I bounce the computer, and I'm back in a domain join state. And just to prove it, I use the who am I command, to list this account's group membership, and you can see that it's a member of the domain admins group. Anyway, that's three different ways you can join a Windows 11 computer to an Active Directory domain. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.